Hello, this is uh, Julian from the 70s channel T-Rex and Bowie and uh, welcome to this video, Glam Rock, 70s Glam Rock and I'm going to show you 50 Glam Rock singles. I've been sorting out my singles. Uh, I got this pile here, that pile there. I got that pile over there, which I'm not going to include because that will bring it up to over 100. This is just the tip of the iceberg. I have uh, 10 boxes full of uh, glam rock singles. These are just singles that are floating around the house. And I thought I'd get them together because I was sorting out um, some soul and disco. And then I, was, I put the glam rock in one section, you know, because I want to keep all the um, glam rock together. Um, so we're going to have a look in a minute. Will these guys feature? I suspect so. Will Alvin be in our uh, glam rock uh, 50 singles? What do you think, guys? Looks pretty cool there, glam um, Alvin Stardust. The man dressed all in black. Yeah, he used to hold the microphone to the side, didn't he? Coo, coo. I still love you. Yeah, cool, baby. I love the 70s. The 70s is the best. Let's have a look through these 50 glam rock singles. Let's have a look, shall we? Okay, the first one up, Angel Face, Glitter Band. Love these guys in, the, uh, in about 1975, 74. Absolutely adore guys and dolls. There's a whole lot of loving. Not really strong glam rock like T-Rex, Sweet and Slade, but they were in the charts when the Bay City Rollers were in the charts and Susie Q, that's good enough for me. Okay, let's go back to 72, pro probably 71, maybe 73. Tweedledee, Tweedledum, middle of the road. Absolutely glam. Absolutely love this one lately, guys, in my glam rock charts. Been playing this a lot. Jukebox Queen from the Glitter Band. Absolutely adore this one. They were around when Slade were around in 70, 74, one of the best records of 74. Slade, Every Day. This was in the charts at the same time as Every Day. Bit disco-y, bit soul, but hey, listen... If they're in the charts in the top 10 with one of the best songs of all time, Every Day, Walk in Miracle, Limmy and the Family Cooking, fantastic song. It's glam. It's glam for me. We'll stay in 74 for our next single, and this is definitely glam. This is the top of the tree glam rock, this. Teenage Rampage, The Sweet. These singles that I'm showing you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, are not my top glam rock singles. These are what I call floaters. These were uh, in the cupboard, and I'm, I was just sorting them all out, putting the disco together, soul together. I left a couple of discos, disco ones in here, if they reminded me. Um, Shangalang, 74, glam rock, Bay City Rollers, absolutely top notch. Okay, 1975, uh, this is a fantastic vocal from Mark on this one, Dreamy Lady, absolutely love T-Rex. Okay, another Bay City Rollers single, this is a good one. Uh, I love Kenny, uh, The Bump, but this ain't bad. Uh, out of the two, which one do you prefer? Just give it to Kenny, you know, Kenny, it was Kenny's song. Uh, Kenny, yeah, there's a new, brand new dance that is going around called the bump to the bump. But the Bass City Rollers do a pretty good version. Yeah, back to 71 when Brian had makeup on, mascara. And so did Andy. So did Steve. Steve loved the makeup, didn't he? <laughs> Papa Joe, baby. Need a lot of loving. This was Brian, one of Brian's favourites. He loved this one. Not his full favourite because it's the 16th. I know that. But he, I know that he liked this one. And he loved uh, Rock and Roll Disgrace as well. Need a lot of loving. The Sweet. 
I'm just picking them off as they come. This is burning by the sweet. By the way, need a lot of loving. You know what's on the A side, don't you, Blockbuster? And you know what's on the A side of this as well. There it is, Hellraiser. Brilliant. Telegram Sam. Yeah, I love T-Rex. I know something about love. Hello and tell him. And by the way, the Glitter Bands version of um, of this song, Tell Him, is not as good as this version. Okay. For the person that said, tell him, the Glitter Bands version is better. It's not. This is better. The Glitter Band do a good version. But the Glitter Band did uh, better songs when they stuck to their own songs. Like The Tears I Cried For You and Angel Face. Uh, and and stuff like that and uh let's get together again okay the glitter band were better when they were doing their own songs they did one or two covers but uh they did a version of this tell him uh but it was a good version but it wasn't as good as this well this is not glam but this is a real good song from 1974 from johnny bristol Hang on in there because I've been sorting me glam and disco and I didn't really want to separate this one. I thought I'd keep it in the pile because, um, you know, I just love this one from 74. Absolute banger. Love it. The 74 at its best. One and one is one. Do, 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 do. Yeah, one and one is one, according to Medicine Head. But brilliant. 1973. One and one is one. Top 10, absolutely awesome. We saw a picture of him, didn't we? And here he is, Jealous Mind. Got to number one, didn't it? Yeah, in 73. 1973, what a year. Great songs. You love this label, this island label. I know Cat Stevens is not glam, but he was around when the sweet, he was in the charts. He had quite a few songs in the charts when I was, when I was, because uh, I was there, you see, I was there. I'm four years older than some of these two guys who, who claim they were there, but they weren't there because they weren't old enough. But I was actually there buying records. Uh, and I remember Cat Stevens was in the charts at the same time as Sweet Slade and, uh, and, and, and T-Rex. He was always in the charts, Cat Stevens. Another Saturday night and I ain't got no money. I got some money because I just got play, paid. He's going to blow this town. But the best one I like from Cat Stevens is, you can't keep it in. Oh, you can't keep it in. Classic. I love Cat. Now, this is uh, not glam, Julian. Yeah, I know. I know. But you see this song here from Ray Stevens. He had two in the charts. In 74, he had the streak. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a news flash. Did you see? Yes, I did. He went through there like, a, oh, yeah. But this Misty was number, got to number one. And guess what was at number two? This is why I've kept it in the glam rock pile. Guess what was at number two when this was number one? Fox on the run. Yeah, Fox on the run. And this was in the charts. Misty at number one. Well, I think it was a number one. It, it might not be, but it was definitely in, uh, it definitely made number one in 75, whether Fox on the Run was number two. I think it was, but I remember it was around about that time. That's why I've kept it in this glam pile. Misty Ray Stevens, absolute belter. Virginia Plain, Roxy Music, 1972. I've got to show you the B-side of uh, Virginia Plain. Uh, it's a track called The Numberer. Because I think I've got another Virginia Plain coming up and The Numberer is not on the B-side. So I want to show you that. Are you enjoying this video, guys? If you're enjoying it, please can you hit the like button. Press the like button so we can get the video uh, promoted. This is Gary Glitter doing all right with the boys. Actually, it's a good record, this. Really, I used to. I, did it get to number one? I'm not sure. It might have done, because he had a. Or was it always yours? 
because he was number one in, in, and he came again in the charts in 74 with a couple of number ones, which surprised me, um, I must say. I th always yours is a good single, but this was not, this weren't too bad either. Doing all right with the boys, cracking single. Yeah, another Virginia plane uh, there. This is a, another Virginia plane. Uh, but um, remember I showed you the B-side just a minute ago, the number. There's a different, um, there's a different one on this one. The B-side on here is actually Pajama Rama from 73. So I, uh, this is a different B-side to the one I showed you. Yeah, got some Wumbles here. Love the vocals from the Wumbles. Fantastic. Mike Bat, wasn't it, singing the lead vocals? Madame Chalet, I love that one. Here's another one, the Wumbling song. Yeah. Hey, Julian, the Wumbles weren't glam rock. Hey, listen, this is my show. And if I say they're glam rock, they're glam rock. But they are glam rock because they were in the charts at the same time as Slade with Every Day and the same, and, and the same time as Sparks. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. The Wumbling song was in there, you know. It was in the charts. And if it's got my childhood memories attached to it, it gets in, okay? You can tell that I love uh, the Wumbles. Uh, I played this one at Christmas, Wumbling Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. That, uh, I play that. The Wumbles, glam, 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 baby. Remember, 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 remember you're a Wumble. Da, 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 da. Remember you're a Wumble. Don't lecture me on glam rock. I know more about glam rock than you will ever know. I was I was watching Top of the Pops singing along to this in 1974, round me nan's house in my pajamas. Nan, can I watch Top of the Pops? Of course you can, love. The who's on tonight? The Wumbles are on. Yeah, remember, 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 remember you're a Wumble Rami Nan's house watching Top of the Pops with the Wumbles, baby. He's back here now, Alvin Stardust, growing up. What's on the other side? Oh, don't know this one. But I know this one, Sweet Cheating Rita. Oh, yeah. She did cheat a bit, didn't she? Hey, Rita, don't cheat on me again. Please do not tr do not do that, Rita. You know how much I love you, Rita. <laughs> Sweet cheating Rita, baby. Another jealous mind in this glam rock pile. Another Alvin Stardust. Do you remember the guy? He had the side, the microphone at the side. You, you. You, yeah, love that on Top of the Pops. Watched all this on Top of the Pops. All these are on top. You know what? I love my Cuckoo and Jealous Mind, but I absolutely like this one a little bit better. Who's that dancing in the red dress? Who's that dancing in the red dress? The lady in red. Who's that dancing in the red dress? Classic, this one. 1974, absolutely adore it. We got another one. You, you, you. I hope you're enjoying this video, ladies and gentlemen. Are you enjoying it? Let me know in the comments. Oh, I love this one from 74 as well, from Alvin Stardust. Good love can never die. I've gone out of uh, vision there. God, another one. You, you, you. See, I've been sorting the, the pile out. Uh, how many have I got of you, you, you? Must be about four. Could it be forever? You remember David, don't you? She's not really glam rock, Lindsay DePaul, but a uh, little secret, I fancied her, so that's why she's in this pile, because she had long blonde hair, and she, said, and she said, one for me and one for you, one for me and one for you, yes please, Lindsay, one for me and one for you, classic. And the R.P. Uh, 
operator says 40 cents more for the next few minutes. Sylvia's mother said, Sylvia's busy, too busy to call to the phone. Well, this is not really glam rock, is it? Or is it? But I love Olivia. You know Olivia Newton-John? And those tight trousers, those tight, really tight leather trousers. You know what I'm talking about, guys, don't you? Won't you roll away the stone? Sha-la-la-la-la. Brilliant. Not the hoop ball. I, I think I might like this one better than all the young dudes. Here's Mud and Rocket. This is a good glam rock tune, this one. Got a few Smokies in. I didn't really see Smokey as glam rock myself. I don't really class them as glam rock. But, um, you know, they were in the charts at the same time, 74, 75, round about that period, when the Bay City Rollers and the Sweet still had the 16s and all that. So we put them in. But I, I, then, to me, they're, they're a good band. Um, they're a good band, and I like a few of their singles, but I don't really think they qualify as a glam rock band. But we'll put them in anyway. If you think you know how to love me. Because, they, they, you know, and plus he teamed up with Susie, didn't he, on that one? And Susie liked him. So if Susie likes him, that's good enough for me. This is Mexican Girl. Check my uh, Smoky Top 10 out. Yeah, it's on, it's on the uploads. I did a Smoky Top 10. And uh, it was a belting Top 10. Check it out. Yeah, here's another one in the pile. Another glam rock type of thing. Well, they were kind of glammy a little bit. Um, they had elements of glam, didn't they? But they had elements of rock and soft rock and country they did the lot smoky and he's got a tremendous a tremendous voice check my top 10 out i've done the top 10 of smoky don't play your rock and roll to me see if that was in the in the top 10 it's on the uploads you'll have to scroll down we got another one of these if you think you know how to love me from 75 we're still on this wonderful rack label love this rack label Absolutely adore the rack label. And this is a, well, it is a Mickey Mouse production. Let's see if it was written by Chin and Chapman, shall we? No. Motor biking, do, 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 do. fast as lightning. Motor biking, Chris Spedding. There, Spedding. Does anyone know who he, he was? I think he was in a rock band, wasn't he? Chris Spedding. Yeah, 75. He had this one in the charts anyway. And we're still on these uh, smoky singles. And perhaps this is out of the singles I've shown. Um, this is probably my favourite. Lay back in the arms of someone. That was really good in 77. Had to be this one for 24 years. I've been living next door to Alice. But I didn't get around to asking her out. For 24 years, I've been living next door to Alice. And not once did I ask her out. I was living next door to Alice. See, I'm a bit, is he a bit shy coming forward? Anyway, that's a good song. That was 49, and this is number 50 in this little pile. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I thoroughly enjoyed it, actually, going through this pack. I mean, uh, that was just one pack. You know what? I've got 10 glam rock boxes. 10 glam rock boxes, would you believe? And, uh, yeah, so um, 10 glam rock boxes. And this is number 50. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, this was just singles that were uh, on the fringe. Just, I know th this was my offload, what I call offload. And, and there was two piles here, and I thought, let's do a video, shall we? 50 glam rock singles. So number 50, the Wumbling song. Uh, can I watch Top of the Pops, Nan? 
Underground, overground, one balloon free. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. Take care. Have a good day. Until another video, this is Julian signing out. Take care, but hit the like button. Did you enjoy that? Because I love to read the comments. I do like to read the comments. I have a cup of tea and, and Big Dog brings it to me. And we sit there and read the comments together, don't we, Big Dog? Yeah, cool, baby. Okay, so uh, hit the like button, guys. And uh, underground, overground, Wombling free. The Wombles of Wimbledon love the Wombles. Uh, so um, this is Julian wishing you a very good day. Have a nice day. The sun shining. We got Glamrock 50 singles. It's all happening. Take care.